The year is 2027. Hypersonic missiles scream towards Central Europe at Mach 7. European satellites detect launch. Ground radars lock on. What happens next determines whether millions live or die. Can 24 nations operating different missiles, speaking different languages, coordinate to stop weapons traveling one mile per second? October the 31st, 2025. Weeks after Russia's Kinjal struck Ukrainian cities in under four minutes, European defense ministers accelerated the European Sky Shield initiative. President Trump announced Golden Dome for America, a $175 billion plan for an impenetrable shield with space-based interceptors and AI battle management. Russia's February 2022 invasion exposed Europe possessed under 5% of air defense needed against sustained barrages. Eastern NATO stood naked against Iskander missiles, Kaliber cruise missiles, Geran-2 drones. Russia demonstrated coordinated waves overwhelming scattered patriots. China watched, noting Taiwan's vulnerabilities. Our real rivals aren't contractors. They're Beijing and Moscow, racing to perfect systems that paralyze Western decision-making. Enter three converging initiatives. The European Sky Shield brings together Germany, UK, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Slovakia, and 16 others in pooled defense procurement. Germany committed 4 billion euros for Israel's Arrow 3 exo-atmospheric interceptor, the system that destroyed Houthi missiles over the Red Sea. Arrow 3 engages above 100 kilometers, destroying ballistic missiles in space. Raytheon's Patriot Pac-3 MSE covers 70 to 150 kilometers against aircraft and tactical missiles. Germany's Iris TSLM fills the medium range with 40 kilometer coverage, while Rheinmetall's Sky Ranger 30 provides last-ditch defense with autocannons firing 400 rounds per minute. Russia fields the Iskander M, road mobile missiles hitting Mach 7 with terminal maneuvering that defeats interceptors. The 9K720 carries 480 kilogram conventional or tactical nuclear payloads. Kinjal air-launched missiles reach hypersonic speeds, evading Patriot zones through unpredictable paths. S-400 Triumph creates anti-access bubbles, extending 400 kilometers. China developed parallel capabilities. DF-17 hypersonic glide vehicles, CJ-100 cruise missiles, GJ-11 sharp sword stealth drones penetrating radar networks. The problem isn't just quantity, it's reaction time against weapons closing faster than human decision cycles. Baltic night, 0, 300 hours. Lithuanian radar at Xiaoliai detects contacts. Fast movers, low altitude, terrain hugging. They split into groups vectoring toward Vilnius, the Suwalki Gap, Warsaw. Polish Patriot batteries at Redzikovo go active. German Iris T launchers receive network data, tubes rotating. Alpha Flight 1 appears on displays across four nations simultaneously. Polish F 16 confirms visual. 6 KH-101 cruise missiles, subsonic terrain following. ESS Eyes Command System fuses Lithuanian surveillance, Polish Patriot radars, German E-3AWACS into one battle space. The fusion engine calculates solutions, three Iris T from German launchers, two Patriots from Polish batteries. Authorization through NATO command structure, launch within 40 seconds, impacts over rural Lithuania, zero casualties. The cruise missiles never reach targets. But reality introduces friction. Arrow 3's kill vehicle, traveling 24,000 feet per second, misses by 10 meters. Hit to kill requires bullet hitting bullet precision. One degree error at 100 kilometers means complete miss. Even Missile Defense Agency acknowledges hit probabilities below 100%. Russian Krasika 4 Electronic Warfare Jam's GPS guidance. It suppresses radar and communications within 300 kilometers. Integrated command networks experience latency when seconds matter. Interoperability on paper differs from combat stress when operators decide in their third language. The shield didn't emerge from vacuum. After February 2022, German Chancellor Scholz announced Zeitenwender pledging 100 billion euros for modernization. 
October 2022, 14 nations signed ESSY in Brussels. Germany's Bundestag approved Arrow 3 in November 2023, Rafael Advanced Defense Systems and Israel Aerospace Industries as contractors. Deliveries begin 2025. Raytheon ramped Patriot production at Huntsville, targeting 8 billion in European orders through 2028. MBDA Deutschland accelerated Iris T at Schrobenhausen near Munich. Timeline compressed, designed to capability in under four years versus typical decade. Late 2025 status shows Arrow 3 construction underway. Patriots deployed to Poland and Romania, Iris T operational in Germany, Egypt, Ukraine. 5 million square feet of facilities support SE across Germany and Poland. Rheinmetall's Unterluce employs 7,000 producing ammunition and fire control. Raphael's Haifa assembles Arrow 3 on three shifts. 50,000 jobs across the base. Radar technicians in Essen, software engineers in Warsaw, logistics coordinators moving missiles under NATO protocols. Supply chain spans continents. American Gem T interceptors, Israeli kill vehicles, German command systems, Norwegian Kongsberg software. By 2030, planners envision 100 Arrow 3 interceptors stockpiled, 500 Patriots in inventory, 2,000 Iris T rounds forward. Digital engineering enables rapid prototyping, modular launches enable faster deployment, commercial electronics replace decades old mil spec components. Golden Dome aims for multi-layered shield over America. Space-based satellites in low Earth orbit. Next-generation ground-based interceptors, replacing aging Alaska and California GBIs. Aegis SM-3 Block 2IA forming maritime layer. Directed energy weapons on aircraft for boost phase intercepts. Costs range from Trump's $175 billion to Congressional Budget Office projections exceeding $540 billion for space alone. Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, Raytheon. Boeing pledged support, calling it Manhattan Project Scale. The technology leap is substantial. Space interceptors never deployed. Boost phase requires hitting missiles seconds after launch before decoys. Integrating Space Force sensors with Army and Navy shooters demands architecture that doesn't exist. Europe launched Hydea Squared, 80 million euro program by MBDA through European Defence Fund. France and Germany lead with Italy, Netherlands, Spain, Sweden, Norway participating. Hydis focuses countering hypersonic glide vehicles, current systems struggle against due to Mark 5 plus maneuvering. October 2025, initial concept review selected two-stage boost architecture and exo-atmospheric kill vehicle. Goal? Operational by 2035. Europe's bet that relying solely on American tech leaves gaps. If Russia's avant-garde or China's DF-17 evade US defenses, Europe needs indigenous solutions. SE shifts strategic calculus. Before 2022, Russia could threaten Baltics, knowing NATO lacked defensive capacity. Now Arrow 3 covers high-altitude trajectories, Patriot blankets medium altitudes. Russia faces mass strikes might fail, yet Moscow responded increasing Iskander deployments to Kaliningrad, developing Kinjal-M, deploying Poseidon drones circumventing air defenses. China's foreign ministry called Golden Dome deeply destabilizing, warning space militarization. Chinese-Russian statement condemned it upsetting stability. If America achieves 70% intercept reliability against ICBMs, Mutual Assured Destruction logic shifts. Beijing might expand from 400 warheads to thousands, deploy more hypersonics, develop anti-satellite capabilities blinding sensors. Technology race creates spiral. Offense drives defense drives offense. But glossy briefings don't emphasize this. Arrow 3 costs $4 million. Russian Iskander costs $3 million. Economics favor attackers. Russia produces missiles faster cheaper than Europe procures interceptors. Saturation attacks overwhelm layered defenses, exhausting magazines. If China fields 10,000 ICBMs and decoys, can shields intercept 99%? Physics says no. Test results under controlled conditions show 60 to 80%.
combat with electronic warfare, decoys, maneuvering warheads, rates plummet. HIDIS addresses hypersonics, but by 2035 adversaries develop next-generation weapons, rendering concepts obsolete. Knowledge proliferates. If Europe masters hypersonic interception, China reverse engineers principles. If America deploys space kill vehicles, Russia develops counter space weapons. Defensive technologies create new offensive requirements, perpetuating arms races, which brings the fundamental question. You're a defense planner. Sensors detect inbound hypersonic weapon, seven minutes to impact. Intercept probability, 40%. Authorize three interceptors at 12 million, depleting magazine for the saturation attack following. Or hold fire gambling intelligence misidentified. Harder question, should humans make that call in five seconds available, or trust AI algorithms deciding what lives, what dies? At Mark 7, human reaction becomes bottleneck. Type human or machine in comments. When intercepting costs more than launching, and adversaries build more offense than defense, are we investing genuine security or expensive illusion? We're reading everything. Every assessment, every critique, every question, whether hundreds of billions on shields makes us safer or kicks off arm spirals. If you want deep dives into billion dollar programs, technology that might save us or bankrupt us, hit subscribe. The missile threat isn't theoretical, it's real, accelerating. Decisions in the next five years determine whether our cities get 30 seconds warning or 30 seconds plus fighting chance. This is DIB Dispatch, where billion dollar projects meet battlefield reality.